Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are once again going to be taking a look at another Unreal update to Yuzu Emulator. These devs have been on a serious roll over the last few weeks, delivering update after update, giving us the users a much better experience on their awesome emulator. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at their latest improvement. This is in fact the change that I teased in my previous Yuzu video only a few days ago. On top of these changes, they have also given us a serious improvement to game compatibility. We're going to be taking a look at that also, but first, let's take a look at this new, literal game-changing update and feature. To demo this, I'm going to jump across into some gameplay of Pokemon Sword. So here we are in the wild area, and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, my system is able to run this game at a locked 30 frames per second practically all of the time. However, many users are not able to get this kind of performance, so to demonstrate what the game is like for them, I'm going to lock my game speed to 50%. For a moment, let's take a quick listen to what the game sounds like when running at half speed. I think we can all agree that that is pretty nasty, however let's come to emulation, configure, audio and take a look at this brand new setting, enable real time audio. This new setting is going to adjust the audio of your game to 100% regardless of what frame rate your game is running at. Let's again take a quick listen to Pokemon Swords audio with this new setting. I think we can all agree that that is a pretty crazy difference. Again, let's do yet another comparison using Super Mario Odyssey. On my system, this game runs at between around 60 to 100 frames per second area dependent, but it's obviously not going to run like that for everyone. As I did with Pokemon, I'm going to use the built-in frame limiter to drop my frame rate down to just a bit over half speed, and again give you an example of what the audio currently sounds like. As with Pokemon Sword, it's not exactly ideal, but by coming back to configure, audio and enabling real-time audio, this is what Super Mario Odyssey sounds like at lower frame rates now. As I said, this update is going to benefit every single user of this emulator, be it someone who's running at frame rates higher or lower than the target frame rate of your select game. For example, if you're running a Super Mario Odyssey at frame rates way over 60, the audio is still going to be correct if you're running at 100 frames per second, 200 frames per second, 300, whatever, as long as you have real-time audio on, your game audio is going to be perfectly matched to the 100% speed value that it should be. In my testing, I only found two games that were a little bit buggy when using real-time audio, those two titles being Sonic Forces and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. However, as with any update that gets added to any emulator at this stage of development, I'm sure they can remedy it and fix these problems in the future. Given the amount of people voicing their concerns about the audio problems and audio backend within Yuzu itself, I'm personally very happy that the devs are actually listening to what people are saying to them and in the process making their emulator so, so much better to use. On the topic of making the emulator better to use, let's take a look at the improved game compatibility that I mentioned at the start. Again, thanks to a lot of hard work and graft from the devs, they have fixed an issue that would cause Unity games to crash on the emulator. Just one of those games is the demo for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, and as you can see, this game not only renders basically perfectly, but is also running at and well above full speed. This kind of compatibility with the demo bodes very well for this game when it fully releases, and as I said, it's not just this demo and game that's working now, dozens upon dozens of Unity games are now also booting and are basically perfectly rendered and playable on the emulator. One fantastic example of such a game is Game Freak's Little Town Hero. Again, as with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, this is another title that is in-game, running at full speed and is practically perfectly rendered, adding even further to the growing library of playable or at least usable games on Yuzu. 
As always, I'm going to be doing some updated videos on a game compatibility for this emulator, so if there are any games at all that you would like me to test out, please let me know down below in the comment section of this video and if I can buy that game for cheap or if I can get someone in the community to test it for me, I will do that for you absolutely no problem at all. One quick note, again in relation to a Yuzu emulator before I go, the Vulkan API is coming very, very soon to this emulator's mainline release. It should in fact have been released about 4 or 5 days ago I think at this point, and due to some issues with Qt dependencies on Linux I think it was, they are unable to actually merge it to master or mainline. Once that issue is fixed, it will be merged and available to everyone for free. And as always, when that happens, expect a brand new full setup guide for Yuzu emulator from me. For now at least, that's going to be it for this video. As always guys, if you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, please hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make any new video uploads. Once again guys, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.